stop being so aggressive. This is what got you in trouble in the first place. When you get aggressive, you start doing all kinds of crazy no, I things. Don't. I'm very you, do, you just broke down a whole you guys door. Open the door. So Gerald just came here, completely bust through the door, and broke everything. This is what he normally does when he gets mad. He takes the locks out. Nothing works in this house. Literally nothing. Everything comes flying off. He's completely angry. And this is this is what I have to deal with. Very, very aggressive. Very mm. lies, lies, lies. Revenge, revenge, revenge. Come on. I don't get it. Message should stop twisting our brains. Because a lot of us, our ability to process information critically is still intact, devoid of being biased. Let's look at this video people are talking about on the streets of YT. The video that Messi made about Gerard breaking into her house. Okay, according to Messi, Gerard will serve the restraining order, right? Or oh, according to Gerard, he will serve the re restraining order, which he put out in the video that he did when he was speaking with the sheriff that came to escort him out of the house while he was um, packing the stuff out of the house. Because I saw a video on someone's channel, you know, as regards to that. Okay, um... It's, it's, there's something that isn't right. There's really something that isn't right. Okay, so how is, how is Gerard able to go back to a place where he has been served a restraining order not to come to? Even went as far as breaking into the house. Do you guys know why I said something is not right? Immediately, Messi saw Gerard doing that to our own house, the door of our own house. What stops Messi from calling the cops immediately? I, I don't want to think it takes hours for cops to respond to such calls, you know, when they're being called that someone is breaking, breaking into someone's house. I just don't want to believe that it takes hours for the cops in the US, you know, to come to someone's rescue, right? Okay, and um, if Messi is truly facing all of this um, harassment from Gerard, like she allegedly, allegedly, you know, says, why does she, why does she not want to do the natural? I mean, doing the natural is by selling off that house, sell off the property, and quickly move out from that city. You know, to a uh, uh, to. to she has to move her from that city to an undisclosed, you know, city, an undisclosed location. If truly she's facing all this embarrassment that is being, you know, said online about Gerard. Or do you guys want me to believe that Messi does not love herself or she does not love her life, you know, for her to be doing all this? Because it, it really seems to elude me at this point. Messi should know better that social media cannot save her. Social media can only do a bit to help her with her situation, you know, by talking about it, you know, creating awareness about what she's passing through in the hands of this um, Gerard, this her boyfriend. But every one of us will keep helping us spread this news, you know. We are going to help her spread this news about the harassment and how she's portraying Gerard to be. We are going to spread it. But we can read the social media uh, reactors and people that are following our story right from when our account got hacked. We're just, we're not going to leave our various countries to come help her talk, you know, to come help her talk to our local police, you know, to see the importance of why they need to protect her. She has to do that herself. You know, if, if it's, I, I don't know, if it, it's she or her family, you know, that needs to put out this um, 
um, to really take this seriously about Messi's life. Messi has to do it herself or any member of her family, her immediate family, you know, that can help her do this. Or is, it, is she waiting, is Messi waiting, waiting until Gerard hurts her and hurts her so badly? Is that, is that exactly what Messi is waiting for? When he hurts her so badly, that's when she will start, you know, people will start clamoring or her family will start clamoring for, you know, carrying this placard with the hashtag justice for Messi after she must have been deleted off the surface of this earth. Because uh, the way it's going, that's how I'm seeing it. According to the way they're portraying Gerard to be, Gerard's behavior is not that of a rational person. And me even, as I'm talking about it, huh? I'm as I'm talking, always, you know, doing a reaction on, on their situation, it, it really scares me. It scares me to hear, let alone Messi that is inside or that is facing this, this problems, you know. She's facing these problems 247. We all know she's the one that puts herself in this situation that she is. So she's facing it 247. Gerard can be said to be, he's, he's literally a stalker and he's a hard one at that. And this whole thing can be called, you know, this whole thing can just be called right at this point, huh? this whole shenanigans of Messi and Gerard can be called fatal attraction. Because this is a whole lifetime movie that we are watching. It's a whole lifetime movie, guys. Messi should not be exonerated in all of this messy situation. You know, she blatantly, sorry guys, blatantly gave room for it. You know, she gave room for it by especially accepting Jared back into her life. Who does that? Who in their normal senses? Would have done what Mercy did by accepting the toxic man back into your life. You see now to disentangle herself from this whole mess that she got entangled in is the problem. You know, right now it's like it's like to get yourself disentangled from this situation the second time is like trying to know how water got into coconut yes it's not letting her go Gerard wants to ruin mercy he wants to ruin her he's not going down alone he's not going down alone in this sinking ship obviously he wants to take Messi down with him. He's not going to let her away. It's not. And this is extremely dangerous for her. It's dangerous for Messi. And it's also dangerous for her little one. You know, we can just say Messi. We can just say Gerard. We can just call Gerard Messi's nightmare at this point. Maybe what I think again Messi can do. Maybe she, she should just make an apology video like he demanded, you know, in the past. She should just make an apology video, clear his name from all the lies, you know, that she has told about him. He's human too. Let's not forget that. Let's not forget that there are some people in this life eh, that you would offend and they will never let go easily. And I think it's Gerard falls into this category of people if Messi making an apology publicly you know to Gerard if that can solve the problem you know for him to back off from Messi's life then she should do it do you understand she has to try all possible avenues if that is what Gerard wants let her do it it won't, it's not going to take a hair, you know, out from Mercy's body. That's my own opinion. I don't know how you guys see it. 
if you have a different opinion about what i just said please let's continue them at the comment section this video is getting too long you know and we are going to bring you guys as the drama unfolds you know we are going to be bringing you guys more info about Messi and Gerard's case please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like my video don't forget forget to share this video and leave your comment down at the comment section and i'm definitely going to see you all on the next one stay blessed and have a wonderful wonderful day bye heart i come your way again next time bye from me to you kisses bye